Truth or Consequences, also known as TRC, is a funky little town neighboring Elephant Butte in the south central part of our state. Many people may be drawn to TRC for its unique and legendary name, but for those in the know, they come for the healing hot springs. These pristine thermal waters are central to this area's history. Before the motorists of the 1920s, 30s, and 40s flocked to the resorts of town, the Apaches frequented these waters and deemed it a sacred and spiritual place. Today, there is a wide range of hotels, motor courts, and spas that offer a variety of soaking experiences. And a TRC local, Monica, is going to give me the full tour. So Monica, we're here in TRC, formerly known as Hot Springs. Yes. Okay, so that must mean one thing. There's hot springs here, right? There are indeed hot springs here. You got that part right? Yeah, so tell me about this historical um, hot spring district. Well, this actually used to all be swampland before they put in the Elephant Butte Dam. Okay. So when they dammed up the Rio Grande, they sort of dried out this river basin, and that made some of the hot springs sort of easier to access. It wasn't just a warm part of the river anymore. It became a place where you could just tap down and out came the water. So. Wow, oh, I like that. So we're at our first stop and tell me about where we are. We are at the first place that I stayed when I first came to TRC about 15 years ago. Uh, Riverbend Hot Springs used to be Riverbend Hostel. I came here and I just fell in love with this place. Oh, I'm, I mean, even from the outside, the color, you know, they got the teepee out front. After you? Oh, after you! <laughs> So what makes this place so special? Well, it's on the river for starters. Well, yeah, I mean, of course. No one else has a place on the river like this. Okay. Which is amazing. The view. The view, really, yeah. Uh -huh. And they get the, the river gets a lot higher in the summer, mm -hmm. so you can see people floating down. And... So is this like a normal thing that people do? You know, they come to places like Riverbend and, and soak the, the locals here? Yeah, I mean, the locals will come here. You can come by the hour. But the thing about, special about this place, I think, is the kind of attention they've given it. There's so many grounds and gardens. Yeah, and the art here, too, is really, really magnificent. You cannot get a better setting for hot springs than along the banks of the Rio Grande. If this is how my tour starts, I'm anxious to see what else Monica has in store. So the next one we're at is Indian Springs, yeah. which brings me to an interesting point of history. People used to come here to soak in the springs like Native Americans back in the day, right? Yeah, this was considered kind of like the Switzerland of the Southwest. I mean, you, wow. couldn't, you couldn't really bear arms here. This wasn't where you came to have any kind of conflict or war. In fact, this is where you came to resolve it in a nonviolent way. So you could not um, bring your weapons or cause any harm to someone else, but you also could not count coup. I don't know if you know what counting coup is. No, what is it? I've heard that, but I don't yeah. know what that term means. Well, in Western tribes, they count coup when they come in and there's a conflict between two warring tribes and they don't only take it like all the blows yeah. there's one like a, a battle of wits where if you wake up and the, a person in the opposing tribe is touching your face and then they're gone like that basically they're saying I could have killed you but I didn't oh that's tricky so it's like that's I am the better warrior but also I'm more mm. compassionate and I spared your life because wow. I'd rather like work it out mm. it's just a place to come to soak and resolve conflict or just heal and be I love that yeah peaceful place our next stop is Hey OK, one of the oldest operating bathhouses in town that still has natural flowing water, meaning it is not pumped in. You can find something for everyone. Totally. You know, you have the college kids who are like, yo, I just want to float and have a party. <laughs> you have the more ritzy, you know, older folks that come in. The mature in. audience. Yeah. Is, yeah, they'll enjoy Riverbend. Yeah. Yeah, and it's funny in town, you know, you pretty much can ask somebody, where do you like to soak? And it says a lot about them. You yeah. Know? You learn something about people. Another property providing a beautiful setting for soaking is Blackstone. A quiet and colorful courtyard greets you as soon as you walk on site, and their soaking pool is the perfect hybrid of rustic and luxurious. But now we're headed for one of Monica's favorite spots. La Paloma is enchanting from the minute you walk into the courtyard, and the waters here are unique as well. Cindy explains why. I love the water. I came here for the water. And there's only two natural flow bathhouses left here, mm -hmm. which means we don't pump or pipe it. And the fun thing about that is science has finally met nature here mm -hmm. and crossed those boundaries. And the physicists call this structured water, which sounds backwards. Yeah. But um, structured water can actually have an energy that's measurable and they can quantify that number and give it to us in addition to the minerals wow. that are in the water. There's just this feeling here, you know, you think about it from outside of outside perspective and you're like, what is it to the consequence, you know? 
other than truth or consequences. <laughs> well, what I can tell you is it's a lot of fun for people mm -hmm. when they come here to see if they can feel the difference okay. in the natural flow, true artesian water mm -hmm. and the pumped water. And apparently people can because we hear lots of things about it. You know, in a guidebook that I read when I was getting ready to come to Truth or Consequences for the first time, the quote that I'll never forget was, uh, don't come to Truth or Consequences expecting a spiritual experience, but don't be surprised if you have one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. This was sacred, peaceful land where people came and bathed themselves and replenished. People are coming for health reasons, for emotional support, mm -hmm. for the spiritual aspects. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a believer <laughs> at this point. You guys have convinced me fully. <laughs> All right, shall I show you the baths? Okay, let's see the baths. All right. Oh yeah, this looks so good. <laughs> There's no pump in here. This is the real deal. <laughs> Monica's not the only fan of this place. We met a couple in the courtyard who hold a special place in their hearts for La Paloma. This is probably our third visit here at La Paloma. And uh, we visited uh, some other nice places here in Tier C but we really fell in love with this place. So yesterday I proposed and she accepted. And this was the place we did it. I love you, babe. <laughs> I love you too. Monica was right. There is something magical about this place. It's like being on a retreat. Nice, peaceful, relaxing. You forget about everything else that's happening around you. It's just great. We love it. And that's why we came out here. It's not going to be easy to get out of this hammock, but we have one more stop on this tour that Monica has promised will be worth it. Beyond soaking, the Sierra Grande is a magnificent property for a weekend getaway. Spa treatments, simple but luxurious rooms, and beautiful grounds make this a true oasis in the Chihuahua Desert. This is what we've been waiting for, right? Totally the place. <laughs> Thanks. Cool. Oh, this is gorgeous. I know. I told you we'd love it. This is quite luxurious, like you said. <laughs> oh, man. With the infinity pool. I know, it goes right over the edge. Wow. I mean, you were not lying. You were not lying. <laughs> Every spot has been so different. I know, everything has a totally different vibe. This is why you can really read a person based yeah. on where they like to sit. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing us around the oh, town. Oh, it's been my pleasure. Oh. I mean, I love this little town. I'm glad you guys have taken interest. You want to come see it, you know? Yeah. I think, you know, a lot of people just knew about little small section of TRC, but I think being able to see all the different parts of it and especially all the different types of springs. That's yeah. like, that's been really cool for me because, you know, people usually just go to one spot. Exactly. I mean, if you're staying in that spot, that's where you're going to soak, mm -hmm. but there's really kind of something for every kind of person here. Yeah, you gotta come back and find your favorite place. Yeah. Stay there. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be a close call. There's a lot of good ones. There really is something for everyone here in TRC. Now that I've spent some time here, I'm counting the days until I may return. Before you go to soak, here's some tips. Truth or Consequences is two hours south of Albuquerque and only an hour north of Las Cruces on I-25. These are hot springs. Temperatures range from 98 to 115 degrees, so be sure to stay hydrated while you soak. Depending on where you visit in the Hot Springs District, you can soak by the half hour, hour, or better yet, stay overnight.